What's up everyone, it's Tim from Everyday Tactical Vids, and today we're taking a look at this item. This is the Trucker's Friend. And I first saw this online over at the website Knowledge Weighs Nothing. Great website, highly recommend it. And somebody had been talking about it, so I contacted the organization or the company that makes this. It's Innovation Factory, and they very graciously sent one along for review. The Trucker's Friend is a multi-purpose tool. It's for demo, it's for a little bit of construction, it's for, you know, using it as a pry bar, lots of different uses. Very cool item, uh, very unique, and so I wanted to get a look at it, take a look at it, see if it would be a good tool for, you know, people who are, as we say, everyday tactical vids, trying to think tactically and live purposefully. So let's talk about some of the features. You have the curved axe, you have the hammer and nail puller, you have a spanner for hose couplings, you have a pry bar and a lever, you got a tire chain hook and a wire twist, uh, you can use it for ice and debris removal. It's cast alloy tool steel, and it's been heat treated for extra strength. You have a rust resistant matte finish. It's a fiberglass handle, so it means it's non-conducting as far as electricity goes. You have a shop shock absorbing power grip, uh, and then also it's backed by a hassle-free lifetime guarantee. So those are some of the list features when you actually look it up online that you'll hear about it. So let's actually use it now. One of the key things for me when I get an item for a view is I like to use it right out of the box or right out of the package. So I didn't sharpen the blade of this up at all. We're just going to go right into actually using it. Um, you can certainly sharpen it. It actually says fully sharpenable blade, which you would assume since it is, it is metal. But I just want to show you what it's like, you know, straight out of the package as we start using it. So first thing we'll do is see how it works on splitting or breaking up some wood. This is a log that's been sitting in my backyard for quite a while. And we've had a lot of rain in the past handful of days. So it is definitely saturated. Uh, not, you know, it's not wood that's been sitting out dried for a while. Let's check it out. All right, so as you can see, breaks it up quite nicely. And it is a little interesting, you know, an ax is made so that as the blade goes through, I'll put my hands like this, as the blade goes through, you know, the ax is gonna get a little bit wider, but it's pretty smooth the whole way. So this blade is nice and thin, but you do have this big chunky, uh, you know, hammer pull and some of the other tools on the end, but definitely no problem splitting through that wood. And it definitely, uh, it's been raining probably for about three days straight almost. So works just fine doing that. Just to give you a quick sense, here's the rest of that log. I just busted it all up. So certainly quite usable as an ax for, you know, splitting wood or something like that. Next up, we're gonna work on some prying, some hammering, some uh, pulling nails. I've got a piece of wood that's got a bunch of different kind of features of it. Two pieces of wood nailed together, some old screws sticking out, some nails sticking up. So we'll see how these features work. First thing we'll do is drive some nails. I've got two nails started here and we'll work on prying this piece of wood off. And then I've got a couple old screws that are sticking up. And we'll work on just demoing them and getting them out of the way. So obviously that works fine. Let me uh, get these screws out of the way first actually. Just bang them down. So that one's nice, that one broke off. Now we'll work on some prying here. You can see we got that section of the uh, head of the trucker's friend that's built for prying there. So I'll wedge that under this piece of wood and work on separating it from the other piece. There you go, three nails sticking out. That's what was holding it in place. Next thing we'll do is we'll pry a nail out of this piece of wood and then we'll split this wood up. Should be easier to split than the wood that was sitting in my backyard for you know quite some time and that was soaking wet, but nonetheless we'll do it and we'll show you how the, uh, the nail pry works, which is right here. That comes out quite easily. And then here's uh, processing this wood here. So 
So, as you can see, makes quick work of this as well. Last up, we're just going to do some general demolition. If you've ever had to break up a pallet or a box spring from an old mattress, something like that, you know that you can use a hammer, you can use a small sledge, you can use things on the larger end like a big sledge or a maul. And the larger it is, you know, the more destroying power you'll have, but also the less control you have as you're actually breaking that thing up. So let's try the uh, trucker's friend, see how it works on this pallet. Try the other side now. And then as always, if we want to take our nails out, you can certainly do that with the nail pull here. Do a little bit more work here and see how it works on busting up this, uh, this brick. Here's a little after action report starting at 12 o'clock you can see the pallet that I broke up moving around clockwise you can see the pile of bricks or pieces of brick from that one brick that I destroyed on the bottom there's a pile of wood from the lumber uh, that little piece of 2 by 4 and also that log that I split up and then all the way over at 9 o'clock you can see um, the piece of wood that I nailed into the log and also that I had pulled that piece of uh, 2 by 4 out and also knocked out those uh, screws that were sticking out of there. A couple concluding thoughts on the trucker's friend. First, your length end to end is about 20 inches. Uh, your weight is about 2.6 pounds, so pretty lightweight, and uh, you know it's not huge, so it doesn't feel unwieldy. Uh, your cost is going to be between 55 and 65 dollars, so quite reasonable for uh, I think what you're getting out of this. Um, some of the details I would share is that you do get a sheath with this, but basically it's just a piece of clear plastic with a yellow backing that covers it. So if you are going to use this and carry it, say, in your car or, you know, going to have it accessible at home, just make sure it's not, you know, around somebody who could grab it, a little kid who could grab it and get hurt or cut him or herself. So that's one thing to keep in mind. Uh, one thing I do like about it is because of the length, you can get a good solid swing without feeling like, you know, you're wielding some huge item. Uh, all my buddies who are carpenters and do that type of work, you notice the uh, if they're doing larger framing jobs, less detail work, they'll have these hammers that are actually, the handle's quite long, so you know, one or two swings of the hammer and they'll be driving those nails into the wood. So that's nice to be able to, um, you know, if you're doing any, you're driving a couple nails you, while using this, you don't have to be tap, tap, tap. You can really give a couple solid swings and put the nails into place. Uh, it has been very sturdy, as you can see. I beat it up quite a bit. And it has, uh, it has held up, no issues whatsoever. None of the metals chipping or bending or anything like that. So that's a plus. A couple other thoughts. First thing I'll say is I like the fact that it has the lifetime no hassle guarantee. You know, with something like this that you're going to be using aggressively, you don't want to have to worry about if there was ever, ever anything to go wrong with it, that you're going to have to spend time explaining to the company, here's what I was doing, and they're saying, well, that was too aggressive or whatever. Lifetime no hassle guarantee, that's awesome. That's a thumbs up thing from Everyday Tactical Vids for sure. Um, I would kind of call this a mid-level or a mid-sized demolition tool. You can certainly use the hammer and the pry and the other things, but in general, you know, this is going to be a demolition tool. Or if you get something stuck in your tire, if you need to yank it out, or if you need to break up some ice that got jammed up under your car, you know, lots of different uses. But 
Um, if you need something that has a lot of power, you're probably going to want to go with, you know, a big sledgehammer. If you want to do something that's, you know, you're doing some very fine work, you're probably going to want to go with a much smaller hammer. But I think this is a good mid-level tool. I'm going to keep this in my car. I'll put it in my trunk. And when opportunity comes up, I'll use it. And as always, we'll give you updates on the trucker's friend. But right now, quite happy with it, and it did the job quite well. I will also note real quickly again that it does come not terribly sharp. It does come pretty dull. So you saw what it did, even though the fact that it was pretty dull. So I would definitely recommend sharpening, sharpening it up because, you know, as anybody knows who's around blades, a sharper blade is actually safer than a duller blade. So as always, thanks for checking out our videos. Please like and subscribe. Check us out on Facebook, Twitter. Obviously, we're on YouTube. We're also on Tumblr, and you'll see us on Instagram as well. Take care.